so it's Christmas Eve, um, approximately, and the year so far has been pretty good. Um, got a lot of stuff done, became a lot of things, mostly good, so that's going for me. Um, can't see shit without my glasses. Mm -hmm. Um... I guess I've been lonely, but like who isn't? I guess I've always been lonely. It, it doesn't like feel better year after year, but like I have ways of dealing with it. I always feel kind of guilty when I hang out with friends cause like, there's always going to be that, like, tiny bit of me that wants to be, like, wanted by people in real life, you know? Like, I'm very happy with my boyfriend. We've been going out for more than a year now. It's wonderful. I wouldn't ask for anything else, but it definitely, like, affects how you view yourself when you've never been sought out by people that you see day to day. Like, I've never had... A relationship in real life with a person that I can hold in my arms and that affects like how you see yourself I guess like I was never like I never thought that I was attractive it wasn't even anything about me I just after all the years of just being that kid who was kind of crazy but like just okay, I guess. I didn't really think of myself as someone who could have a romantic relationship. And yeah, like my mental health stuff and the, the trans thing affected that for sure, but it. I've been to parties, I've hung out with friends. And beyond very simple, like, observations, no one's ever told me, like, things like I was handsome or, or even pretty. I've never been called pretty. And it kind of hurts, I guess. I've never been called ugly. I've never been called, like, plain. In fact, I've had many people who would try to correct me if I said that I was unattractive. But no one went to the point of saying that I was attractive. That I was attractive to them, that I was attractive to other people. So, in an attempt to find something, I told myself I was attractive. I told myself that yes, I'm very handsome and, and charming and funny and creative and inspiring and supportive and in a lot of ways those things were true but I had to tell myself these things and I do believe them is that I never had it echoed by anyone I interacted with. And it makes me sound shallow, but I was thinking about it, I was thinking that if I hadn't had the people that I have online, I probably would have ended up pursuing a romantic relationship with one of my friends in high school or afterwards. But I never gave myself that chance to actually like figure out what that would be like. So now when I'm confronted by that question, I don't know what the answer is. I don't know 
anyone who would think I was attractive. I don't know anyone who would date me. This made the loneliness worse. Because there's a lot of people in my life that I think are attractive. There's a lot of people in my life, close friends even, who if given the opportunity, I would happily enter a romantic relationship with. But I haven't. I've had plenty of opportunities to make that choice. It's resulted in me feeling fairly alienated. Because on top of the question of whether I am even, like, wanted romantically, it's fairly hard for me to relate to other people in my age group, or even my close friend group. There are very few people that I could have an honest conversation with and feel like I was being understood and having the, the the ability to understand them in turn. And that communication has always been important for me in a relationship. But I don't think things that I would be concerned about in a relationship are things that other people would be concerned about. And with my asexuality on top of that, I don't know. I don't know if it would work out. I don't know if I want it to work out. If I were to break up with my boyfriend of a year and a half today and then ask out one of my friends to be, enter a romantic relationship with me, I don't know if I want them to say yes or no. I don't know if they would say yes because it's me or say no because it's me. I don't know if I want them to see me in a sexual light. I don't know if I want them to see me in a romantic light. I don't know if I want them to like see me at all. <laughs> There's always been a bit of disconnect with me and my identity. There's what everyone sees of me, then there's what I actually believe that I am. I believe that I'm an outgoing, positive person. I don't know if everyone see me, sees me in that manner. I don't know if I want people to see me in that manner. I can be abrasive, but in social situations that abrasiveness comes out much more because I'm in an unfamiliar situation, and that's what a lot of people end up seeing of me. When one of my friends, who I've spent a lot of time with, thinks of me, who do they see? Do I want them to see? That's always going to be a question, I think. Thanks for listening.